What I want to talk about today is how the short sellers are Citroën Research and how the shorts are currently having to pay RICO costs. Anson Funds, which has shorted AMC before, and Money Waters, whose name you already know, as this post says, some funds that shorted AMC could now be charged with RICO. This means that the DOJ is getting closer to cracking down on legal insider trading. I'd also like to talk about how these shorts are legal tricks that are now being uncovered by the big news outlets. Stay tuned and let's make some money. Short selling and messing with the market. Uh, this story says that many small investors have lost billions of dollars, that many businesses have gone out of business, and that the capital markets are facing their biggest problems since they were first created. When RICO will come up with an answer is the question. After years of waiting for the government to do something about Anson's funding, the biggest news sources and the Department of Justice have now come together to look at how bad the damage is and decide what punishments to give. Reports say that the SEC started the investigation, but the crime was so bad that they asked the Department of Justice to change the case from a civil one to a criminal one and give them more resources, which they did. Everyone knows that the head of the snake is money, and this is serious. Even though Muddy Waters and Citroen Research may be the big names, we believe that ants and funds are the real targets. You've probably heard of Citroen Research. Their CEO, Andrew, quit and now they live in fear of the federal government all the time. You may also remember this tweet, which said that criminal charges are about to be brought against a number of fearful investors. It looks like it was sent a few weeks ago, and it looks like Anson Funds and other people may be the real targets, not Citroen Study in Muddy Waters. You should read this piece if you don't know much about the names and funds. <laughs> this story talks about how one hedge fund manager is making money off of the trend of people investing small amounts of money. In its letter for the quarter ending in 2021, Moaz Kassam of Anson Funds says that it has been keeping an eye on private investors and how their actions affect the market as a whole. Sam wrote that Wall Street bets and online teamwork on Reddit sent meme stocks through the roof. In addition, he brought up AMC Entertainment, which saw a huge rise of about 600% in the old day. The short sellers are said to act like a gang committing theft, money laundering, market manipulation, and many other crimes that RICO could be charged with. They must know that the Department of Justice has a 97% success rate and that anyone they catch will not get away with it. It's possible that Anson Funds is way below market value on their GameStop and has been doing everything they can over the last few years to try and get the price even lower. We will just have to wait a few more days, weeks, months, or whatever it is, until the Department of Justice makes the charges against hedge fund managers public. If you sign up for Moomoo through the link in the description below, you can get a free share of Tesla, $50 cash, and up to 15 free stocks right now. You only need to sign up and make a short deposit that meets the requirements. People have also tweeted these two movies that show the difference between what hedge funds, market makers, and banks really do and what people think they do. Signing up for free movie streaming is a great way to support me and the channel, and it only takes a small deposit at first. It's also very easy to use, and it comes with a lot of technical tools and their own options trading platform that looks like Daryl from New Hampshire, worth about $15,000 in Delta Airlines. Daisy, good morning. My name is JP Morgan Klein Services, and I do bring, bring, bring hello. Hello, is it possible for me to buy Delta Airlines for $15,000? There is a $5 service fee, but it's all done boop. Hey, Lehman, I think it would be cool to write a lot of zeros on paper. You can then tell if these market makers are using algorithms or if they have relationships that aren't public. Talking to other market makers to change prices when there are too many zeros. In any case, these market makers are breaking the law very badly because, as we all know, they use the button for synthetic shorting to make too many synthetic shares worth zeros. They don't just let a market maker short a million shares that might be available. They let them short 10 million, 100 million, or even more. These people who run the market only need to click the button to see as many shares as they want. We also know that these market makers often work together to make sure that this fake short selling isn't caught or punished. However, it looks like these illegal methods are now being covered up more and more in the mainstream media. Did she just say that hedge funds can trade short in dark pools and don't have to report those trades? We need to know what dog pools are off, as Charles Payne tweeted, Reaper's gabble. The exchange market, private markets, where hedge funds can go short without having to record it. He's also looking at order flow, so these commissioned free type of trades uh, actually get 
sold to uh, hedge funds and other market makers. Um, he's looking into specs. He's looking into cryptos. But what we do know is, uh, first of all, does it have the finger on the pulse for the small guy? He is worth $100 million in net. He's also worked for Goldman Sachs. And we also know that this means more regulations. And what happens typically with more regulations is that it hurts the little guy. So we don't want to stifle that. Innovation, we don't mind him looking at it. Uh, w but will they ultimately be the champion that ripples to be seen? So obviously the majority of that video is talking about Gary Gensler and whether he's really doing the right thing for retail investors. But I do think she really hit the nail on the head at the start of that video saying these hedge funds can go short in dark pools and seemingly don't have to report it. It goes to show really just how sketchy these dark pool venues actually are and how really they should not be allowed. Finally, Stock sense Frank sent a short message to tell everyone about AMC or some very interesting due diligence. He started by talking about the Allegheny case. He said that the plaintiffs had spent just under $500K on legal fees, even though they only owned 879 shares, which is about $4,500, and that they would have only lost $63,000. Overall, if they had bought 72 shares each, he said that there was no way that they were doing this for them. Someone else was paying them and using them to do their work. Short sellers could be behind this, and some funds may still try to drive down the price of AMC, but they would have to do it through different people, companies and aliases to stay anonymous while doing something illegal. He said that the share price is probably the reason why these claimants are being used by someone else to try to stop the reverse split and the conversion so that they can make money short selling. In a strange way, if 3.8 million people buy something, its worth should go up by the same amount. Many people who are short on AMC say that it is a cult, which is fine because it means that there are a lot of loyal customers who buy a product or service and become totally obsessed with it, like people who buy new clothes. Uh, trend it would, uh, skyrocket if the, if this was a video game it would it would skyrocket as well it's a self fulfilling prophecy um, now that it should be worth more because there are um, um, people who value it deeply um, saying if if millions of people um, purchased clothing its popularity would skyrocket too so why is the price of AMC falling when millions of investors out there are buying post shares, especially as we know that we hold way more shares than those institutions do? And therefore, it's not the institutions that are impacting the price. It's obviously these illegal short sellers still trying to push the price of AMC down, still trying to convince you to sell at some point. The Department of Justice will crack down on these short sellers, and then at that point, the short sellers will not be able to hold the price of AMC down any longer, as they'll be in prison, and at that point, that is indeed when we'll see AMC squeeze. And as this guy posted, he said, uh, you know, I know some of you have given up hope on the Department of Justice investigation into short sellers, um, but he says that he has absolutely not given up, saying that people will be put in prison, saying, 